What did you just say? <laughs> I'm not beautiful yet. You're looking great, don't worry. Let's start the video. Hello. Hello and welcome back. Here I am today with the lovely Miss... Lena. Okay, and where are we today, Miss Lena? Vieng Ping Mansion. We're at Vieng Ping Mansion and the condo we're going to see is how big? 30 square meter. And how much? 9,000 baht per month. 9,000 baht a month, which is around about 250 US dollars. Miss Lena, have you been to this condo before? Never been here before. So we are going to show Miss Lena around. This is actually take two where Miss Lena had to remember all the details. But we're going to show Miss Lena around. Miss Lena actually pointed out in the area and asked if there's a pool in the condo. There is no pool, generally speaking. We'll have a look, see what condition it is in. But there's generally no pool in this condo. But Miss Lena happens to know just around the corner here. What's around there, Miss Lena? Is the road go to the Green Hill site? Yep, that's it, the Green Hill site. We might have to move. Green Hill um, is just down there, and there is badminton courts and a lovely swimming pool there. Okay, this is Vieng Ping Mansion, around about 37 years old. Okay, hang on, Miss Lena, I just want to show them the, the lovely phone wire in here. Okay, any of you guys love your little bit of cabling? Have a look at these wires here. How cool is that? I... All the old wiring, the shrine which is outside many of the condos, and 10 points if anyone can tell me what that condo is called. Right, let's go and find Miss Lena. Miss Lena, don't run away from us. Show us what we've got outside the building. Okay. Ah, yeah. So we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven laundry machines and a couple of, well, including the dryers up there. And they're probably about 20 baht for a load or something like that, I must admit. I don't know the costs here. Okay, Under, undercover parking for the motorbikes. A small undercover. This building used to have a pool room um, and karaoke area before. But now that's all gone. Here's the reception, and I'm gonna take Miss Lena to see if we can see, find out the pool and the gym. Come this way, Lena. Oh, do not enter the staff only. Oh. oh no, it's been locked. The way to the old pool is now locked. Okay, but it used to be the way around. So officially, we say there is no pool at this condo. It's been opened a few times, um, but it used to be the old, the old style lobby and cafeteria for when it opened up this was much more of a hotel um, when it's early days you could buy the condos and this is also one of the buildings the rooftop has an amazing penthouse okay what floor are we going to Four. full floor okay no smoking in the condominium Please close all doors quietly. Do not leave shoes or other items outside of your front door. Okay. Do not leave garbage bags or furniture and dust to in any of the common areas. Do not flush anything like baby wipes or anything down the toilet. Keep the door open and no pets allowed in the condominium. So let's go and have a look. Ha! Lovely dated wallpaper here. Miss Lena knows where we're going, don't you, Miss Lena? Come on in, that was easy. <laughs> uh, she found it. Uh oh. It's the wrong key or? Is it the right unit? Uh, yeah, the strong wing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Welcome inside. <laughs> uh, Lena's still learning to use the keys professionally, but come on in, Miss Lena. Take us in and show us around. Okay. Then you get in on the left side is the toilet. Yeah. Okay. Modern. This is a modern bathroom, that's for sure. Okay. Nicely done. Nice big mirrors. Okay. Right. And sm small kitchen area here. Miss Lena's disappeared. She's meant to be doing the tour, not me. Yes. 
and you get like uh, these. Uh, Little bits and pieces, knickknacks, cupboards. Yeah, some, some pan for pots you. Pots and pans, excellent. Very simple, very basic. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if there's a hob under here. Is there an electric hob anywhere? There's pots and pans. So is there a hob or no. would you? So they may have been left behind by the last tenant. This okay, a couple of little bits. The closest. Yeah, here we go. And refrigerator uh, and microwave for you. Yeah. Okay, the bed sheet's not back on because the tenant's just moved out. So, but then there would be bed sheets. Okay. And that is a sofa bed, and I'm not sure why it's in the bed format. Okay, but Miss Lena's going to attempt to put it back as a sofa. Is she? Hmm, I think the legs go down and it goes into position. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Try that. Try. Here. Yep. Um. No, I think she's just broken it. It, it, it just like style like... um. How you say in the cinema, you know? Oh, well, that's what you're claiming, I reckon. Yeah, just I... You look like <laughs> cinema, <laughs> TV. You, you look quite comfortable, but I'm sure that's not what it's meant to be. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get back. We'll work that out later. Okay. Okay, TV. Big uh, screen TV. Big screen TV, aircon everything like that remember this is only 250 dollars a month so it is good value okay let's have a quick look out right miss lena I'm just at the rooftop okay miss lena come here please tell us again how much is the electricity in this condo electricity is depend on government lead Government rates, which is around about four and a half, five baht a unit. Water, roughly. Well, what would your water bill be if you rented here? Oh, will be twenty-five per unit. So one month to one two hundred baht a month. What about internet? Are there good internet providers here? Internet is no have internet inside the room, but you can provide by yourself. You can get it installed on your own, correct? Yes. And how would you do that if you were based here? Where where would you go to get your internet? In Myanmar, it's close to where you stay. Yeah, just take your rental contract in there or tell them your address and then they can come in and install the internet. A little view out onto the car park. Turn left there and you've got Green Hill Place. Turn right and we're on the super highway. Go round and out or back to do a U-turn and go back to Maya. Okay, or you can walk to Maya from here. How long would it take you to walk to Maya from here? It's about... Six minutes. Oh, I reckon. Or less than that. Like. I reckon even less. But look around, okay? Very nice condo. It'll be nice when the bed sheets are back on. I reckon it could probably do with one or two more lights in here. But apart from that, a very nice unit. All right. So let's wrap up. That's a nice, quick, and easy tour. Miss Lena, one last time. How many square meters is the condo? 30 square meters. 30 square meters. Um, how much per month? Test, if you get it wrong this time, you're in trouble. 9,000 baht per month. Which is about 250, okay. And the name of the building, can you remember? Wiang Bing okay. Mansion. Okay, and can you use the swimming pool here? No, you cannot use swimming pool here. Where would you go? But you can go next door, it's called Hillside. Hillside Plate. The Green Hill Plate, sorry. Right, Green Hill Place. And do you remember how much it cost to swim there? Was it's it? 80 baht. 80 baht. Per and person. Do you know how much it was to do badminton there? Um, badminton, not sure. Okay, but there's a massive badminton courts there and a lot of people go and play their badminton there. Just up the road there's also a CrossFit place, um, some Muay Thai places, and obviously we're just around from the corner from uh, Neiman. So make sure, oh, there goes my camera. Make sure you check this out. And if they want to see this condo, Lena, who do they ask to see? You can contact me or also the company. Yeah, well, contact stuff. the company first and then ask <laughs> for... Contact Lena. Ask for Lena from Perfect Homes, okay? And if Lena wants... She's had her coffee for today, but if she wants more coffee, what do they have to do? You can subscribe our channel and, and like. Yeah, 
and stick the comments in the, stick a load of comments in the uh, stick your comments in the comments section below let's see if there's any good positive or negative comments you think about this building have you ever stayed in the building before do you like the building you don't like the building or anything else you know or like about the area it's really great for us to hear your thoughts so thank you very much and we look forward to hearing from you soon thank you thank you bye bye bye